What's going on guys, this is Boonjamin Bok Choi bringing you a video today, not on any video games, but on my racing rig here. And as you can see, it's very just a very simple uh, play seat challenge, uh, the NASCAR edition. And other than having NASCAR stitched on the back right here, there's really no difference between this and the normal edition. So uh, I'm just putting this out because of the release of the CSLDD. I'm sure a lot of you guys are looking for solutions for sim rig. And if you're like me and you don't have any space in your apartment whatsoever, you're probably looking for more of a, a mobile solution or, or something that you can fold up and stow away uh, when you're done uh, using it for the day. And if you have cats like I do, two asshole cats that chew through every single wire that they can get their scummy little paws on, uh, you probably don't want to be leaving it out uh, overnight or anything like that. So what I'm going to be doing in this video, it's not so much a review video as there are plenty of those online already, um, but this is kind of just a solution video uh, to to how I fix the some of the stability issues with parts of this racing rig. So I'm I'm just using my phone here, and not using a mic or anything like that. So I do apologize for the poor audio and video quality. Um, but when I was looking to buy a seat and steering for my steering wheel setup uh, last year, there weren't too many videos that um, showed any temporary uh, modifications. So there are there are videos that that do some permanent mods where they they weld like a rod from this platform up here to one of the um, metal bars down here but that kind of defeats the purpose of having a, a mobile uh, sim sim rig like this uh, you can't really fold it up anymore if you if you start welding stuff together so um, I'll show you my solution and first we're gonna take a look at this platform the 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 wheelbase platform up here uh, I do apologize this isn't scripted so I'll probably be stuttering and saying um and uh a lot um, so this platform right here right now this is the locking mechanism back here is as tight as possible and you can see there is a lot of play in this uh, wheelbase here and what I've done as a temporary solution is pretty much just use a ratchet strap so I'll show you underneath this is under the under the wheelbase but above the platform and behind this first front screw uh, just to prevent the strap from falling out forwards like that and underneath it's just looped behind this bar underneath and then back out to the front and then back out the other side uh, and once you tighten it It, it, it will be a little bit more secure underneath here and you don't have to worry about this strap coming loose and in, in the middle of your race or something like that so as you can see right now it's not perfectly stable it's actually pretty good I'm using trying to use a lot of force to push it up right now and it's not nearly um, it's not nearly as bad as uh, before when the strap wasn't being used so you do have to be careful with this though as the lock me locking mechanism back here uh, kind of uses this teeth situation so this red piece kind of locks into place with these this black piece back here using like this hard plastic teeth and uh, you do have to be careful not to crank on the strap too hard uh, or else the teeth might end up uh, getting destroyed and then this may not lock properly anymore so just kind of Strap it up, tighten it just enough to where that that inch worth of play is gone from the platform there. And I've been using this for about eight months now, and it's actually helped with my driving a lot as it makes this a little bit more stable. So that's the first problem and solution that I've come up with. And again, you can probably, if you want a more permanent solution, you could probably weld stuff uh, from the platform down to this rod right here. But... Uh, like I said, I, I like to keep the mobility of this rig, so I've just gone with the temporary solution. Obviously, you won't be able to use um, this little switch here to to pull this up and get in easily, but I really just jump uh, <laughs> jump into the seat right here uh, with my, both legs and just kind of kick them out to get into the seat. So uh, it's just kind of up to you if you prefer ease of access or if you prefer stability in your 
steering wheel and I prefer steer my steering wheel to be more stable. Um, I'm a pretty little guy so it's, it's easy for me to jump in and out of the seat um, without too much of a problem. So the second issue is the pedal board here. The strap that comes with the play seat challenge is long enough to strap down a, a G29 board but if you own one, if you own a Fanatec CSL Elite pedal board, you, you'll notice that it's it's a lot wider than the G29. I can't speak for the Thrustmasters, as I've never owned a Thrustmaster brake set um, or, or pedal board, so I don't know how wide they are. But again, here another solution is just another ratchet strap. And this one you can crank as tight as you want because I'm pretty sure under here is, is metal. Or at least I hope it's metal anyway. It's, I, I've been doing this, I've been using this for about eight months and it hasn't destroyed the, the frame here, so... Uh, I think it still works for me. So at the front, it sits pretty cozily into this little metal bar here. I've just used some zip ties to stabilize it as much as possible, but the ratchet strap here and just the way that the, um, these pedal... I don't know what this is, this pedal frame here um, works. It, it pretty much just kind of sits comfortably into here. And I've only got two pedals on here, just the brake and the uh, throttle because I have uh, paddle shifters for my uh, clutch so I don't really need that that third pedal here so if you do have a third pedal though this this metal frame right here of the middle pedal will sit really comfortably into there and I don't you can probably add another ratchet strap here in the back to make it a little bit more secure but I don't find that it's it's necessary for me anyway and it's it's pretty tight just make sure that you don't pinch any wires with your strap. And I've just kind of looped it. There are plenty of crevices and, and spaces for you to kind of loop your wires so that you don't uh, pinch any of your wires. I also use, as you can see right there, another uh, zip tie on both sides to kind of add a little bit more stability to this uh, setup here. And the, the worst part is probably these two latches right here that connect the uh, pedal frame to the seat frame. And it slides around a lot. So what I've done is pretty much just taped off the, the latches. So uh, I've kind of just kind of centered the pedal board and used enough tape here to where the latches can't slide any further than where it is right now. Sometimes it will slide towards the middle, but I'm okay with that so long as it doesn't slide too far to the left or right. Um, and I'm on carpet, so this doesn't create any leveling issues or that make it the seat too wobbly. If you're on hard floor like hardwood or, or tile, it might uh, make, make this rig a little bit unbalanced, but um, if you use this, you know, close enough to the same amount of tape on both ends, it should be all right. And that's and that's probably the biggest issue with the, the pedal board here. Um, and that's about it. That's what I do to stabilize my setup here. Hey guys, Future Boonjamin here, just dropping in to add a little something at the end. Uh, this definitely won't be better than buying a permanent uh, rig, a more stable rig. But if you're like me, like I mentioned earlier, if you just don't have the space or if you just don't have the money for a more sta uh, stable rig, this is a very good substitute. And and using these few solutions that I've added to this play seat challenge makes this, I'd say, 20 times better than driving at a desk and is, is good enough to race competitively. Um, you know, if you have the space and you have the money, then go for it. Go buy a more stable rig, one of the nicer ones. But um, like I said, I just don't have the space for it, and I need to put this away after every use. So uh, this this works for me. I would recommend this to anybody that is looking at a play seat challenge and that they want to pair with their CSLDD or, or any other Fanatec product. Um, anything... Uh, club sport wheel or csl dd and below it's even some thrustmaster wheels and obviously the the g29 um, this is a very good uh, selection and using these few tricks to stabilize it makes this uh, worth a buy so um, but yeah thank you guys for checking this video out stay tuned for more videos if you think i've earned it please leave a like comment or subscribe and if you have any other questions or any other issues with this seat and you need some help let me know in the comments and i'll see what i can do to help you guys all right I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember to eat your bok choy and have a good day.